Today we're going to revisit the G4 conversion project. It's been a while and this was actually going to be the last episode but I had a little unfortunate thing that I noticed uh, a week or so ago and I will show you what it is. And you notice this right here, this is on the keyboard, this metal aluminum bracket. Well, what has happened is it actually, it was glued on, this is a two piece bracket and it was attached. And these little clips right here actually uh, broke off. So now uh, I have to repair this before we can uh, go on to the next phase of our project here. So luckily no damage occurred and the cables are nice and long on this. So basically what I have to do is I have to glue these two aluminum pieces back together and I think it'll work best when I have it laying down on the uh, table here so we can uh, fix it properly. But yeah, that was just a little setback. I didn't realize that happened. It would have been a lot worse if I had not had this thing braced up and it could have really uh, damaged the cables, but we got lucky. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. And we will fire it up too, just to make sure everything is okay. But like I said, it didn't uh, break any cables or anything. So we're good in that respect. Now, as you see here, you can see the uh, separation here. This other part is still glued on the hinge there, okay? This has got the double-sided special tape for acrylic, and the stuff is almost like cement. It will not come off very easily. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, put some adhesive down here. And I kind of thought about it. I thought I might use some double-sided tape, but this actually has tiny little holes in here. They're spaced ever so far apart. And the reason being is because this has pins on it. So these are actually locator pins. Now what actually was holding it was this little plastic hinge here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, graph this all back together here. So what I'll do is I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, glue on here and then we will put this down here. We'll make sure that those pins line up and also on the, uh, the, the plastic brackets here too. And you can see our cable is still in good shape there. And we'll put a little glue right there on that plastic housing that broke off there. Very surprised to see that break off. So when we put it back together, uh, we have to get all the pins lined up. So that way the uh, plastic bracket, the uh, ends of the plastic bracket will line up where it's supposed to be. And it'll take me a little finagling to get it back in here, but it does it does fit in there, like right there. See, so it just it's starting to snap in there. So what I gotta do is I, I decided I'm actually I'm gonna have it up like this to re-glue it. I'm just gonna get a little spacer to put underneath the uh, bottom of the keyboard here to lift it up to the right height here. Okay, now the fun part. We're gonna glue this back together here. Now that I got it kind of stuck down here, but it won't take much to, to pop it loose here. Huh. Now it's on there. Now it's stuck on her good. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Now we got it unstuck here. All right. And just looking at this, this is actually plastic on the top, which I did not realize. That's very interesting. So I'm going to just, I hate using this, but I'm going to just use a little bit of super glue on it here to, to get it to stay put. I think we'll put it on the pins here. Yeah, 
And there's a lot of little pins on here. And I don't really like using this for that, but it'll work. I'm just not sure what they used to adhere that with. Maybe they used some type of uh, adhesive on there as far as joining the two pieces together. Let me get the keyboard here. Now this is the hard part, getting this back in place here. All right, so let's get this back in place before it becomes uh, permanent here, before we're ready for it to be. And we'll uh, put this push down on here. So we're going to let that sit for a little bit. And I want to thank our channel sponsor, which is PCBWay. And they can do all kinds of neat things. They do all kinds of injection molding. They can do CNC machining. And if you go to their website, they do a lot of interesting uh, documentary style videos of different processes. Uh, one of the things I was watching last week was how they do custom circuit boards that have to have different specs, whether it has to have areas where it's got to withstand a lot of heat or the trace is going to be super thin, uh, different materials for strength. Very interesting. So go to their website and check it out. But I'm so glad that they are a channel sponsor for me. Uh, they've been a sponsor for over a year now, and I really appreciate it. And again, see what they can do for you. All right, so we got it all glued back up. Uh, it's pretty much all cured out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on just to make sure that it works here. Okay, so we're just going to make sure the screen works here. I'm going to turn it on here. It takes a little time. Now, what we're going to do uh, next video will be the last and final installment on this project. And we'll have some games on it. We'll have the magnetic mount on it and our little custom made brackets for the keyboard. Be pretty cool. And it's looking for my uh, network because there is no battery in this thing, which I'm going to put a battery in it too. Let's see, this uh, remembers. Oh, yeah, we know the clock's out of date. All right, so now we're working. So very good. All right, so there we go. So our trackpad works. Uh, we do down there the genie bar here. It all works. So we're good. So yeah, so the next uh, video will be the final installment for this thing. And it's been quite a long project. Uh, we had to take a little break on it for a while. And like I said, to discover that that piece uh, broke on it. But again, it's uh, it's all good now. Got a nice uh, squeakiness again. So yeah, so that's it. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. You'll get all the latest notifications. Make sure you hit all notifications. We're on Twitter. Mastodon, and MeWe. Until next time, have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.